hi guys sorry I look crazy I know um, I've just been running a lot of errands I'm actually getting ready for a wedding not a wedding I'm actually getting ready for a quinceanera so <sighs> the thing is guys every single time I procrastinate till the very end to like get everything done and I'm just going to give you some great piece of advice. Don't procrastinate because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of um, preparation and stuff like that. So I ordered, I ordered my dress on Amazon because I went to the mall and I couldn't find one. And it's saying it can arrive June 8th through June 18th. Now the quinceanera is the 16th. So there is a possibility that it doesn't get here on time and I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm kind of stressing about that. I'll show you the dress. Um, I'm also going to be getting my nails done. I'm going to get some eyelash extensions. I'm going to go all out. Um, where is this? I want you guys to be able to see it. I was gonna get this one for the little one. Now, basically, they're wearing like this champagne color, which is so hard to find, first of all, like so hard to find. But I was gonna get this little dress for the baby, or Leilani. She will always be my baby. But I'm trying to find the dress, but I think I took a picture of it. I'll try to post it on down below. It says arriving June 8th through June 6th, I mean 18th. I need it by the 16th, so I am freaking out a little bit. This is the dress. And they had a size zero, which by the way, that's another struggle. Like finding a dress for a skinny person is such a struggle. This is what the back will look like, but it's that champagne color. This color but this is it in red and it says it's 63 inches long which is about like 5'3 and I'm 5'1 so I do need a little bit of a heel so I got these shoes at the mall because I also have a really small foot um, and I go to this store called Reflections because they have five and a half and it's pretty affordable. You, most of the time they have like buy one and get another one half off. But let me tell you. So I'm going to wear these. They're like this nude heel with this little strap. So I'm going to wear these with a dress. Hopefully it gets here on time. Um, and they have this what's it called city classified comfort and it is kind of squishy which i was kind of surprised because it's like pretty you know inexpensive i'm only gonna wear it like probably that day i mean i could wear them to work but i pretty much stand all day at work so that may not work i mean unless we're super busy then i'm sitting down but for the most part i stand all day so that's that. I'm going to do my own hair and makeup. So I'm going to save some money on that. But um, I wanted to do like tight curls. There's this wand that's called like chopstick something. And it makes really tight curls. But that's $30 and I'm not about to buy that. So I'm going to have to use what I have. You know because I just can't be spending that kind of money. I have my hair products down here. So I have this wand, which, I mean, this part is pretty skinny. This is the bedhead um, curling wand where you just, like, twist your hair on here. Now, the only thing with this, it's kind of hard to get up, you know, on your, like, the roots. So I am going to practice. I'll probably practice today. Um... I also needed to do some research because I don't know if you can wear makeup with eyelash extensions. I know you can't use like makeup remover, like oil 
oil-based makeup remover so i need to go buy that if i'm gonna end up putting makeup on because i do want like a champagne glittery sparkly eye and i will not look like this i will look put together but hopefully my dress arrives on time i'm stressing out i also got a new foundation that i want to test before i actually wear it it is the what's it called estee lauder something something it's very well known on youtube and i wanted to give it a shot it's like 42 dollars which you know to be honest i don't like spending that kind of money i like going to the you know the drugstore and buying this one which i lost the cap to this is the maybelline fit me foundation but it's not like you know super long lasting it will fade out throughout the day this one i really like but i feel like i break out with this one i don't know what ingredient is in here that my skin does not like but it is more of like a full coverage which i mean it's a medium to full you definitely can build up so i need to test that foundation i'll probably do that today since i mean i don't have anything to lose we may do that together if you'd like to be part of it I also cleaned my room, which, I mean, I just cleaned it. I do have a bag of stuff I'm going to just donate, honestly, at this point. I just want to get rid of stuff. Um, just because I like when it, I like how it feels when it's, like, clean and organized. There's not a better feeling than that. So I do still have to go through a lot of things, obviously. I mean, it's a pretty big room. But for the most part you know i have it how i want i put my little unicorn sticker up here i'll show you guys up there is the little unicorn decal that you can get at dollar that's that so that's basically it i'm gonna get going i'm gonna try and put the makeup on play around with the hair and it may be a lengthy process, but I do need it to um, work. Now, you know what's funny, guys? I bought these little setting sprays during the holiday season. I don't even remember. At Walmart. And these were only $1. And I kind of regret not picking up more. They're the hard candy. I don't know if you guys ever saw these, but they were only $1. They are the setting spray... It's a one fluid ounce. So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal for $1. And hard candy used to be at Sephora. Just saying. And I can do a separate video on applying um, the foundation and then doing the curls. It's going to be a test, guys. So, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to come on here and show you guys and like talk to you guys about it. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I just kind of go with the flow. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am going to be pretty busy in the month of June. Just getting Cisco, getting Leilani ready, getting myself ready for that quinceanera. And, oh my god, my mom probably hasn't gotten a dress either. So, I'll probably end up having to help my mom find a dress. Which... It'll be fun. So hopefully, pray for me that my dress gets here on time because if it doesn't, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I already contacted the seller. I told them, please ship it before the 18th, before the 16th, ideally. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!